Microsoft Excel. So uh, we are going to learn few of the tricks in Microsoft Excel. Uh, you know, if you if you if you are aware of that, that Microsoft Excel is a very powerful tool, and if you uh, know even 25% uh, of the skills that is there in Microsoft Excel, uh, you can be a very strong programmer or a developer. So uh, uh, in this tutorial, we are going to learn a uh, few tricks like uh, you know creating the button the text box and uh, you know creating a basic login form okay so before i start the tutorial i want to uh, to make sure that you have subscribed to our channel if you have not please subscribe to this the name is linux linux ax okay uh, so before i start uh, i am going to show you what i have created so uh, this uh, this uh, excel sheet has a small login form and which uh, basically accepts username and the password from the user and allows you uh, to log into the system uh, depending on the password validation okay so uh, we are going to see how we have uh, how we are going to make it before that i'm just going to show you how it works so here are just click on this let us click on the selection and then you can come back here and it is changing the the welcome uh, page for that person so for example i select this person and and I click here and then uh, you can enter the the username which is I have set it to uh, SHNKAR and then the password should be this so you can also uh, I have included this checkbox here uh, which you can use to show and hide the password and then once you click on this you are able to log in uh, and it is going to take you to a different sheet okay so this is how it is working so we are going to see how it works even i have created some few buttons also which is taking you to a different different sheet so if you click on this uh, it is uh, uh, taking you to a particular sheet so uh, we are going to learn this uh, in a different uh, 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 tutorial but first of all we are going to understand how this login form is created the basic login form okay so let's start uh, we have this uh, blank sheet okay so what you have to do is you have to go to the developer tab okay so when you start the excel sheet you might not be able to find this tab by default so if you don't see this tab at the top of the sheet you have to go to file and then you have to go to options then you have to go to uh, customize ribbon and here you have to make sure that the developer uh, it checked here in the man in the main tabs okay if it is not selected you won't find that tab so just make sure it is checked and then you will be able to see that here in your top of the page okay so we have this developer tab here now we are going to start the process so what you, what you, need, to, what you need to do is uh, you just need to okay so before I start the controls taking the controls here just go to home and uh, okay I just go to insert and go to shapes and take a rectangle so that you know you can have a better uh, view here so I'm changing it to this so that this will be your, your login form kind of a login form so now I go back to the developer tab and I'm going to need a uh, few labels so labels are just for information purpose so this will be your uh, first level then uh, okay so now once you have taken a level you can simply control C and control V and make a different level so again you can anytime you can make the formatting and all like you know so what you have to do is just click on properties right click on that and uh, click on properties and you will be able to edit that okay so again uh, I'm going to take the uh, <coughs> the uh, the text box which is this one so I'm going to accept the username in this text box so always you can give it a name okay so just click on this and go to properties and then you get this uh, property screen right so at this place uh, you see the name is here this is the name of the text box so you can you know by if you follow the programming convention naming convention just uh, you know keep it like this txt user okay similarly I can just keep uh, copy and paste and I can make a different text box for the password and I'll just give it a name as txt pswd okay 
this is these are the two input values and then I will take a uh, few buttons to accept login and I of course they, you can also take a button to cancel the login or something like that you know exit or close the back page okay and now see here this is your login button so I'll just name it as button login and I can just give it a name like uh, this is optional you cannot don't need to do that but uh, these are useful when you are following the naming convention so and now see the caption is changed here in the uh, yeah the caption uh, attribute so here if you see uh, you can put login and here you can put cancel so at any time you want to change the font or you want to increase the font you can do that okay so this is your uh, basic login form and this also you can change like uh, okay so I'm not sure why it is not coming here I'll just delete it uh, maybe I'll take it again so I'll take it from here this is your uh, username and then I'll just take a copy of this you can either take it from the drop uh, from here direct, direct again or you can uh, you know do it uh, control C and control B so this is your level one and I can just give it a caption like username and this one I can name it like password so it's just for the information so that user can understand that here I have to enter the password and here likewise okay always you can uh, arrange it as per your choice that is up to you okay so now what is going to happen okay so now since this is a password text box so I, I we don't want the password to be visible so I'm just changing the, this to password character to something else so if I put it star so anything that you enter inside this uh, uh, this uh, text box it won't be visible okay so now uh, this is your uh, front end or the uh, visible form okay now we are going to make some uh, add some codes okay to make it work so what you have to do is just uh, you know at any point you don't want to uh, uh, see uh, at this point it will work as a, a raw text box if you just deselect the design mode it will become a real text box See, it is working as a text box at, at this moment this is working as a button this is working as a button but when you go back to uh, design mode it becomes a raw text box okay nothing it's not working exactly okay so if you want to make some changes you want to edit something you have to keep this design mode selected okay so now we are going to uh, write some codes here so now just double click on this and you will get back to this uh, visual basic uh, coding console so here what you have to do is you just have to write this text box uh, what is the name of the text box the txt user dot text so I'm just taking the text from the txt user and if I am comparing it to be shnkr and txt uh, second one is password so okay this is my password text box dot text equal to and you can set it anything you want like shn or something like that and then if these two things match and always you have to end the if block with end if and then uh, if these two things are correctly entered by the user you will allow him to log in so I can simply you know say message box which, which will pop up a message okay so welcome uh, welcome okay so you can also always say like this welcome Shankar or something like that or the just give the username okay so txt user txt user dot text okay so whatever is there in the text in the username field okay this, this is your message box okay so this is a very basic thing I can directly go and show you how it works so first of all you have to deselect the design mode and then I'm coming here I'm just putting shn kr and then here I'm putting shn which is a right password and if, we, if I click on login it is working welcome Shankar okay so this is a, a basic flow of the login form 
and of course you can add a lot of validations that you want like you know uh, yeah here you can place like you know else uh, message box something like this like invalid credential if it is not correct right if it is not correctly entered by the user you can say invalid credential and also you can put uh, the exclamation or error okay or, or error button like vv so something like this exclamation okay and uh, it also has this title on the uh, message box like something like you know login status okay so these are optional things so uh, there are a lot of things you can do with the message box okay here also you can add vb okay these are the buttons that is going to be there in the message box okay and then this is login login form something like that okay so uh, now if you run this uh, so now if I, run, if I run this, so what is going to happen? So deselect the design mode. And now here, if you go and put anything apart from like the, what is coded. So I just put something like one, two, three, four, and it is click on login is saying invalid credential. Okay. So you can put uh, as many validations you want. It is up to you. You can also, uh, so now I'm putting the, selecting the design mode to make some changes always remember you have to make any changes any editing you have to select the design mode and if you want to run the program you have to deselect the design mode okay so here i am going and putting a checkbox also because so this is the checkbox on this one i will take this one and this is uh, you might have seen on on facebook page or, or 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 amazon login page that you know they would want the password to be visible or invisible depending on that so here I am putting the caption as uh, <coughs> show password so if you click that your password will be shown okay so I'm just making it a bit wider so that yeah okay so what will happen now uh, now let's go go to the code and on this one uh, what will happen is uh, on this uh, change uh, click box checkbox change uh, method I'm going to put like uh, you know uh, so I can change it like uh, if checkbox what is the name of the checkbox the name of the checkbox is uh, checkbox one dot value is true or is checked okay if it is checked then what i am going to do i am going to uh, i am going to uh, set the password character to null so that you know uh, the password becomes visible right so password dot password character is equal to blank okay else i am going to set it up to txt so txt password dot password character set it to again back to star okay so this is how it will work let me see if it is working or not so okay so I think I, I, I just I, it is asking me to save uh, you know just log in something like that you can give it a name and you have to save it as because this is using macro and also you have to save it as macro enabled workbook okay so coming back to the form yeah okay so now again I am going back to developer mode design mode deselected and if I run this uh, and of course after a login you should clear the text box that also we can do so for example if I type something here click on show okay so it is throwing an error okay uh, what is the error txt yeah so it is throwing some error here uh, okay so I think the name is txs okay, that's strange anyway uh, so now if I click on this see it is changing 
so when I click on show it is showing me password if I click it back again it is going back to invisible okay so this is uh, how you can do it you know there are a lot of things you can do I don't want to take much time for this video even uh, you know after this after the login is successful you can uh, clear the text box you know right dot text equal to blank and txt what do you call uh, what do you call password right yeah txt password dot text equal to blank like that okay similarly you can do you can even write a function and call it every time you want to clear the test boxes right so this is a basic uh, login function that i wanted to have and also at this moment uh, after the login is successful you can navigate to a different form or or a different sheet uh, something like that so i can show you how to do that okay so i don't know why it is hanging yeah so uh, i'm going back to the form and so if the login is successful okay, so you can come back here so this is sheet 2 this is sheet 3 this is sheet 1 okay so uh, so when I go here and the login is successful I can just say sheet so me is okay so okay so okay so okay so okay so, okay, so I can say sheet sheet 1 yeah so uh, now I'm back to here so I'll just deselect the design mode I will clear this so I will show you one more time so I just go here type Shankar SHA and was the password show yeah, this is working click on login and you get this welcome message see here the title of the message box is also updated once you click on this and you are back to sheet one right so this is exactly the sheet one only so let me uh, select the design mode and going back with this a share sheet I have can show you sheet 3 so that you will be able to understand okay so this is sheet 2 now okay uh, this is sheet 2 no this is sheet 2 okay so coming back here again I want to run it so Shankar SHAN SHAN and then click on login welcome and you can see you are back to this first sheet so this is how uh, it works and uh, uh, I will again be back with another uh, tutorial tricks in Excel sheet. So this is a small uh, login page that I created. If you have any questions you can anytime ask me and make sure you subscribe to this channel for such more tutorials. Thank you for watching.